it's apocalyptic. It is. It's apocalyptic. You had, you had a gas station behind. We had a gas station that has been in 17 floods. It didn't make this one. Right now, I think mostly shock. Everybody is still, they're holding up good. Um, I think a lot of people are in shock and we're just into um, rescue and stabilize mode right now. Prattsville is going to need some serious help in the next weeks to come. On, on if we're, or we, we're going to need some help for rebuilding. I mean, we're in the flood plain here. Um, a lot of homes don't have in flood insurance. Flood insurance is a very, very expensive thing, um, and a lot of people just couldn't afford it because we are in 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 the primary flood plain here in the Catskills, and uh, I would say 70% of our um, disaster does not have insurance to cover the situation. I've lived in this town since the age of five. Never seen anything like this? Never. We've had many floods, but never to this extent. We, we had spring floods, you know, where the, the snow melt and the ice jams, but never. This is, this is by far the very worst we've ever seen. When this start, when it started to rain, what did, what did you hear? What went through your mind? You could hear something. What was it? Steady rain. I mean, we understood that we were going to have a lot of rain. They said 10 plus inches, but it worked out to be 12 plus is what someone told me. I don't, I, you yeah. know, and I wanted to see how, how far under the organ was because I'm the organist here. It's, it's indescribable. I, 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 this has been my church always. My, my dad was raised in this town and um, his family. It's just, it's hard to take. 
because I, I see that it, I don't know what we're going to be able, if we're going to be, well, we're, we're going to do the best we can with God's help. That's all I can say. We'll, we'll when, when you first looked in, what did you see? Can you describe the mud and the muck? Well, I wasn't able to get in the front door yesterday. I looked in the side window and I couldn't really tell. I could see there was mud here, but I couldn't tell the extent of it until today. And it's just, look I'm, at it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's awful. You have any idea how much mud is on the ground and on the, on the floor and in the pews or on the seats? I don't. I didn't take a ruler or anything, but there's certainly more on the floor than on the seats and more than up here. But I'd say right here, it looks like a good three to four, three inches. And down there on the seats, it's got to be like five because I couldn't get my finger down to the bottom of it. It looks like from the sides of the walls that the water was up probably, what, four feet? Yes, and you have to realize that the sanctuary is another foot or more above the ground. So, yes, it's at least four feet up the wall of the sanctuary. What's your mood right now? Mood? I'm very sad. I, I'm just very sad. That's my mood. I'm a look, we're looking ahead to a lot of a lot of work. A lot of work. The, the, even the parsonage. I mean, the parsonage, because our ministers live there, that has to be our first our first concern. We've got to get them so mm -hmm. that they can live. And then we'll work on the church. Okay. Thanks, Go ahead and scoop it up. Lift up, some out. And I didn't get down to the bottom of it. I know. Yes, my wife and I are both reverends in the Reformed Church in America, and this is our first. Um, parish ministry with uh, Prassville Reformed Church down here in the valley and Jew at Presbyterian Church um, up in up in the hills so this is awful it's that's terrible um, not just for us but for people throughout this town that have lost um, a lot of a lot of their livelihood how would you describe your church um, our church is small but a loving community. Um, I think that we all try to uh, work and um, serve our neighbors as, as much as possible here in Prattsville. So. When you walked in and you saw the devastation, what this flood did, what did you see? Um, well, there's mud everywhere. Um, it's kind of hard not to miss the mud. <laughs> um, and uh, whenever I'm touching anything that has it, I try to have gloves on because who knows what's in it. But uh, um, the first thing that we did when we opened the door was just uh, break down in tears because um, of everything in here that's now just gone. Not only was your church devastated, so was your, the, the parsonage. Yep, this is the parsonage. Um, this has been standing since the 1850s. Um, has made it through countless other floods. Um, so we weren't really surprised to still see it standing, but um, it was a wave of relief to see that it was still here. Um, I know there's countless other houses throughout town that um, are gone, and uh, um, we were lucky that we still had the upstairs where uh, our majority of our clothes and bedrooms were, so we have all of that still, which I'm trying to salvage, um, and I'm trying to salvage some stuff here um, in the kitchen and dining room as well. What do you hope for? What do you pray for? Um, I'm praying for clarity and for God to uh, bring peace to this community. What's this behind us? We're here at our Pratt, uh, Prattsville Head Start Center in Greene County. Um, this used to be our classroom. Um, we had 18 children here, four staff. We've been here for over 20 years. And this is what's left of our Prattsville Head Start. 
When you walked in here to see it, what went through your mind? I just can't believe the devastation, and I'm also very grateful that um, it was basically not on a school day when we had children here. It worries me of what we would have done if this was uh, during the week with 18 children in here and families. So I'm grateful that um, no one was hurt, but um, just a lot of devastation. And, uh, Unbelievable. I, I, it's beyond words. What it was in? Where was your closet? There? That door? Oh, I haven't been in there yet. I thought that was the bathroom. All right. All right. I'm going to everything open. What are you? Hang on. Hello? Kiss my fucking ass. Hello? Who's this? Hey, Chad. Um, I'm. You knew, did you know this was coming? No. No, I didn't know it was coming. I just had a funny intuitive feeling that, that something really bad was about to happen. But no, no. No, we didn't. And I don't think it would have happened if whatever happened in Wyndham hadn't happened. I mean, it's flooded before, but not like this. Your mobile home, how far did your mobile home move? We were trying to figure that out yesterday. Probably, uh, I would say that's about a quarter mile, right? From way over there. It's actually in another county now. We've crossed from Greene County, now we're in Schoharie County, so. Were you down here when the water was rushing through or what? Oh, I, I came down here because I wanted to see. I had heard rumors, we had no news, we had nothing. And I heard rumors that there were trailers floating because when we left, everything was okay at 6.30 in the morning. But I guess they had called a mandatory evacuation. They came around with boats. Well, this was our um, bedroom, oh, my daughter's and mine. And we had a beautiful bathroom in there with a big jacuzzi tub. I guess there are some things that flew in the tub. There were mirrors all around, so every all the glass is on the floor now. Um, the ends were filled with mud, several feet of mud. And uh, this is it. I mean, all this stuff is obviously didn't ever look like this before, but it's barely recognizable. Some of it. Yes. Yeah, that's why he's gone completely. Let them take what they can. It's not going to screw you.